Uh, good to be back home there. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, son, incidentally, when you travel to the UK, I told the church that I saw a vision where you came back as the best graduating student of your school. Oh, yes, your mom was in church on the day that I said it. Yeah. Yes, it's true, son. <laughs> wow. I was there the day he said it. Oh, wow. In the name of the Lord we pray. Hey, hallelujah. Hey. Amen. Hey. You know, and true to time, just like it was revealed to me on that day, you came out tops. Thank and God. God is indeed a faithful God. <laughs> yes, he Glory, is. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so, thank you for reminding me. Dad. What? No, 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 Dad. I mean, I, I, Dad, I'm so grateful to God for what He's done. I mean, it wasn't easy. It took a lot for me to achieve what I achieved. But uh, having God by my side made it easier, you know? So uh, I just give all the glory to God. Hallelujah. Give all the glory to God. <laughs> you know, you've had a first degree in economics, you've also had a master's degree in economics. Honey, I think it is time our son enrolls in a theological class here in Lagos so that you can become a preacher of the gospel like me. Son, I need you to uh, take after me. Please, not again. I've said this countless times. I've said this over and over that I do not want to be a pastor. Dad, I mean, I read economics. I'm an economist. Let me practice what I read in school, I Dad. Know, I, I know, I know, son. You've always had a passion for things related to the economy. In fact, you've loved to discuss the fiscal and monetary policies of other countries. But what I'm saying, son, is you can still be all that while still being a pastor. Oh, Dad. Um, oh, Dad. Oh, Dad. Daddy, please, can we not have this argument today? Let's just celebrate our son's return and his resounding academic success. Okay, okay, okay. I, Thank you, Mama. I, Thank I, you. I, I, I and if you would allow me, uh, I can get a bottle of wine please, please. so that we can celebrate. Yes. No? Okay, okay, you want to get the food, but I will get... I, I'll, I'll be right fine. back, Daddy. I, I agree with both of you. How dare you barge into my bedroom like that? I'm sorry, you know. I'm sorry. Get out. Now! Wait, hold on. Are you crying? I said you should get out! Leave my bedroom! Leave! Problem. What's the matter? How? Why you said that you were crying? Me? Crying? How? When? He barged into my bedroom without knocking and I walked him out. You're supposed to come him. Is he crazy? Why should they barge him without knocking? So I wanted to check my sugar level. Let me get down my device so that you can help me check it. Okay, Daddy. Ah, oh, Oni, you're here. Are you back? I'm back, my love. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay. Okay. I'm fine. Where is Bayo? Should be inside. Bayo! What happened? Bayo! Huh? Yes, ma'am. Come in. 
So, so Bayo, you decided not to attend movie service because of your dad today. I um no, I was I was. You that have been attending the midweek service, or what value is it to this house? Honey, I know your plan. And you see that plan of yours? It will never work. You won't buy her to stop going to church just the way you did. Hmm. And it will not work. <laughs> well, you both can laugh for all I care. All I know is that this family is a Christian family and nothing is going to change it. Mom, how was service today? Oh my God, service was awesome. Service was beautiful. You know what? Our daddy's son is back from the UK. Oh, really? oh yes. <laughs> Look, old man, I warned you to stop calling that pastor of yours daddy. I warned you. Stop it. But, honey, he's the pastor of the church. Mm -hmm. That makes him the father of the church. That's why we call him daddy. So he's our daddy. Is brain worshipful like you that calls him daddy. You know that? Someone that have used church offering to send his own son abroad for schooling. Eh? <sighs> and we're here calling him daddy. What makes you think is the church offering at tight that he used to send his son abroad to school? Which other source of income does he have? Tell me. Know. You don't? I don't know. Yeah. But all I know is that he can afford to send the son abroad to school. Says a woman whose son can't afford a luxury school in abroad. Every day keep going to that church, dropping little money we make in this house, in that box. Eh? I don't blame you. Honey, now I see why you stopped going to church. I understand you very well now. Now I see why you stopped going to church. But you know what? You making by your stop going to church will not work. Oh. Will not work. Now I see the reason why you just decided to stop going to church. <laughs> I didn't even think. Why I stopped going to church is because there's a lot of hypocrites in church. Okay? Do you understand me now? They do the daddy, daddy, daddy. Till one day they go chop your head. You go, yeah. <laughs> What, what was this thing that was very important that you couldn't talk to me on the phone? I'm pregnant, sir. You, you, you're, you're pregnant? Yes, sir. Okay, and you're telling me because I'm your pastor, of course. No, sir. I am telling you because you're responsible. Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, I am sure. My goodness. Who else knows about this pregnancy? Nobody. Good. Very good. Okay, so no one, no other person should hear about this pregnancy. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, you you have to abort it at once. What? A abortion? Sir, I cannot do it. I can't do an abortion. What do you, what, what you mean you can't do an abortion? Oh, you, you'd rather keep the pregnancy and have our lives messed up? Do you realize that I am an anointed man of God? And children of the devil are going to want to use this pregnancy thing to, to destroy everything that I've built all my life. No. No, no you, can't, you can't keep this pregnancy, my dear. You can't. I'm sorry, I cannot do it. I 
cannot have an abortion. But why? Because I can't find myself doing an abortion. I can't. So why are you here then? I just came to tell you about it and for us to find a solution or do something about it. There's no other solution, Dolabo, for an abortion. You have to abort this pregnancy. So I'm sorry, sir. I cannot do an abortion. I can't do it. Are you listening to me? You cannot link me with this. It will be a disaster. Then we have to find a solution. Not an abortion. I'm sorry. I wanted to say you're beautiful. Oh, thank you. All right, have a good day. Yeah, it's me. Dad! Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Yes, Dad, I'm here. Uh, and before you ask me, I got the job. <laughs> I knew without a shadow of doubt that I was going to get the job, but their level of excitement, Dad, <laughs> it was elating for me. They're so excited to have me on board, and uh, oh, I didn't tell you, a company, an auditing firm, just called me. They also want me. Oh, it's a beautiful company, they're doing so great. But you know what, you know, I'm more interested in now. Um, Dad? Dad? Yeah, so, can we, can we talk later? I, I want to be alone, for now. Is everything okay, Dad? Yes, yes, yes. Everything is fine. I just need to spend a quiet time with the Lord and we can talk when I come back home later, okay? Okay, Dad. All right. Um, let's talk when we get home, okay? Take it easy. Take care of yourself, Dad. All right? And I'll see you later. Okay, Dad. Take care. to share with me. Mom, I am okay. I don't think you're okay. Mom, I am okay. Nothing is bothering me. I'm fine. You're sure? Yes, mommy. <laughs> Come on, mom. I'm fine. I'm okay. Dolakbo. Yes, mommy. You're <sighs> okay. You're sure? Yes, I am fine. Okay. Say you're okay. Yes. Okay. I don't know. I just, I just feel. Oh, come on, mommy. I'm okay. I'm fine. You're very sure. Yes. Okay. All right. Be <laughs> good, okay? Okay, mommy. Ah, mom.
Daddy. Daddy. Oh, mommy. What is the matter? Oh, no, nothing, nothing. No, you can't say nothing. Not... You've been acting strange since you came back. You didn't finish your food. I can't remember the last time you failed to finish your dinner in this house. Oh. Talk to me, my husband. What is the problem? Oh, my dear, you worry too much. I should it, worry It now. is well. Amen. God is in control. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. Amen. See, mommy, I was just thinking of what we can do to make our church big. The church? Yes. But our church is already big. Oh, mommy, it can grow bigger to the glory of the Almighty God. Okay, so what are you planning to do now? Oh, my dear, it is not my will, but the will of the Almighty God, the author and finisher of our faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is still talking to me. When he is done, I will let you know. Okay, my husband, but please, just take it easy on yourself. It is well, God. I don't God, like seeing you like this. God is in control. Amen. Don't worry yourself. It will, everything will work, work fine, okay? Yes, sir, okay. Um, let me go and freshen up and join you. Please, please. I'll okay. be here waiting. God bless you. She must terminate this pregnancy. She can't keep it. No way. If people get to find out about the pregnancy, I'm finished. You can't keep that pregnancy. Who would you tell them give you the pregnancy? Me? Never. I can't do an abortion. The thought of it alone sends chills down my spine. Listen, I will take care of you. I will give you plenty of money. The same way you promised to give me a job? Oh, shut up. Stop. Are you insinuating that I'm a liar? I, I can't do an abortion. I won't do it. Oh, oh and, and you will tell the world that I, an anointed man of God, slept with you and impregnated you? Why do you think about your image alone? What about me? What about my life? I, I care about you, Dora, but I care about your life. And this is why I don't want you to have that baby. Look at you. Look at how young and sweet you are. The baby will inconvenience you right now. The only way out of this mess is an abortion. Capital, no for me. I won't do it. Excuse me. Who is that lady I saw leaving your office? I saw her the other day. Who? Oh, Dalabo? Oh, one, yes. of, one of my daughters in the Lord. She always comes here for prayers. In fact, she was just telling me that she's looking for a new job. A job? Yes, a job. Great. <laughs> give me a moment, Dad. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, excuse, what? Excuse me? Yeah, I'll be right back. Just give me a moment. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi. Um, my father told me you were looking for a job. Uh, I, uh, I just want to know uh, what kind of job are you looking for and uh, what's your qualifications, you know? Um, well, I have an HND in marketing. Currently, I work as a salesperson in a pharmacy. But I'm just looking for any job that will pay me well. Any job that will pay you well. Um, what's your name? Dulakbo. Dulakbo. Uh, Dulakbo. Uh, my name is Adewale. And I want to help you secure a really, really good job. Oh, really? Yeah. 
Um, what's your phone? So I will give you my number and uh, you just send your CV to me via WhatsApp, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, here we go. So I will respect the CV. Um, all right, so you have a wonderful day. I'll be in touch, okay? All right. I look sir. forward to the CV, okay? Okay, sir. All right. A right. uh, beautiful name, by the way. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just left my office and peeped through the window, and I saw you standing with her. Oh, oh, uh, that, that lady. Uh, I'm trying to help her get a job, you know, a good job, like a really good job. Why? I like her, Dad. If I'm the first time I set my eyes on her, I just uh, liked everything about her, the way she looks, the way she talks. Like I really like her. Indeed, do not forget the son of whom you are. Oh, Dad. Because I know whose son I am. That's why something inside of me is telling me that she is my wife. What? Look how Dad. I Dad, I feel intensely drawn to that woman. I like everything about her. Come on, don't look at me like that, Dad. Come on. She's a beautiful girl. You know that, right? Hmm. Well, it looks like my son has started seeing visions too. Which means <laughs> you are going to pastoral school very soon too. <laughs> hey, laughing. But By the way, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at work? Oh yeah, I, I'm supposed to be at work, but I came to check on my own man. But you know what, right? If I hadn't come here, I wouldn't have seen her. Like they say, all things work for good to them that love the Lord. Amen. Amen, Daddy. Glory, glory. Amen, Daddy. her so much. He's even thinking about marriage with her. Hmm. And she's carrying my child and I refuse to abort it. I think in this case I have to do what is expedient. Yes, I will do what I think is expedient. found out that my son likes you and not just that he likes you he's thinking of marriage with you but he doesn't know me god has a way of doing things right meaning well meaning you can now keep the pregnancy play along with my son sleep with him and give the pregnancy to him What? Uh, hold, hold on, just hold on. And please wipe that look off your face. 
Good. Listen. He is my son. Right? If you give him the child, it's as good as giving it to me. But you should have asked me first if I like your son or want to marry him. It's easy to assume you'd like to marry him. Well, I have to know the kind of person he is first before making that decision. Fine. Fine. Could he be the one forcing his son on me? Or does the young man truly like me? He's cool. Easy on the eyes, but I still need to know him. Ah, talk of the devil. Hello, good evening. Hello, dear. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, I hope you understood the message I sent to you earlier. Uh, yes, you said the interview is on Tuesday next week. Yes, next week Tuesday, 9 a.m. Um, are you going to be available? Sure, why not? Good, good. So, um, what are you doing tomorrow? As usual, go to work, come back and sleep. Oh, go to work, come back and sleep. <laughs> All right. I was actually thinking. He's such a very sweet young man. Very articulate. Very caring and has a good sense of humor. He ticks all the boxes for me. I am going to say yes to him because I like him and not because his father wants to use him to cover his deeds. Yes, Dolabo. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Good. How did he go? Fine. It went well. I like him. D did you sleep with him? Ha! Sleep with him today today? Yes. Ha! Sir, I don't think he wanted us to do it today, oh. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with you? Eh? You should have at least suggested it to him. Of course now. Listen, listen, just listen. The sooner he sleeps with you, the better for everybody. Okay? You don't wait for him to suggest it. Make the move. You initiate it. The young man likes you already. And he will gladly get down with you. All right, sir. I've heard you. Okay, better. Good night.
Papa. Mom. Who was that? Who was who? The car that just dropped you. Who is it? Um, that was Adiwali. Pastor, your son. What do you have with him? He said he likes me and one else to date. And I like him too. So we are dating. Are you just telling me? Mom, we just started dating a few days ago. You should have told me from the first day he asked you out. Why are you just telling me now? Why? I'm sorry, Mom. Now you know. Listen and listen very well. You have to be very sure of him. You need to know him very well. You have to be sure he's spirit-filled like his father. Spirit-filled indeed. I hope you understand me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm sorry, mom. I need to take this call in my bedroom. Excuse I'm me. I'm very sure you understand everything I've said. Excuse me. You mean the sex? Of course I'm talking about the sex. What else would I be asking you? No, sir. We didn't. There was no space. Shut up! What do you mean there was no space? If there's no space, you create the space. Okay, sir. I'll try. It's not about hearing me. It's about doing what you are asked to do, Dolabo. Listen, hurry up and get this thing over and done with. Time is of the essence. Or do you want your stomach to start bulging out before you do it? you were trying to say on the phone? Um, he said he's a virgin. I wouldn't do it until after marriage. Nonsense. You didn't try hard enough to lure him to bed. I tried. I did my best. What was I supposed to do? Rape him? Well, shut up. Shut up. Who's talking about rape here? I did my best. Oh, well, you're obviously your best wasn't good enough. Sir, this is not about me. It's not about what I did right or what I didn't do right. It's about your son. He's a very disciplined person. And according to him, he made a vow not to do it until after wedding. You know, you're talking nonsense. You don't know what you're saying. Listen, no man, no matter how principled he is, can refuse the sexual advances of a good seductress. You didn't do your job right. You must do you must try again and you must do better next time.
Hey, Dad. Hey, son. You're yeah. back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, um... I have a mom. Where is she? Mom... Mom is somewhere in the bedroom. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good that you're here. I, I want us to have a, a talk. Talk? I hope there's no problem, Dad. Oh, not a problem at all, son. I just have a message for you from the Almighty, our Creator. Oh. <laughs> All right. Yes, son. Um, God has asked me to tell you to get married immediately. What? Yes. Get married? Yes, son. <laughs> the message has been coming to me all afternoon. You know, I try to wave it off and it just keeps coming and coming. It keeps saying, tell your son to get married now. Tell your son to get married immediately. And it just keeps coming and coming and coming. So at some point I said to the Lord, how soon do you want this to happen? And he says, as quickly as possible. Huh. Yes, son. I was supposed to go for a prayer meeting in church. I had to cancel that day by day because of this particular message. Okay. Yes, son. Um, you know, I, I think there must be a reason why God wants you to get married now. But I know that at the appointed time, it will all be revealed to us. I sure would. Amen. Amen. Glory, hallelujah. So, um, that young lady that you're dating right now, mm -hmm. do you love her enough to want to marry her? <laughs> Of course I love her, Dad. Oh, you do? Very much. Great. So let's get to it immediately. Okay. Okay. Well, what can I say? You're the boss. God is in control. <laughs> it makes everything perfect. In his own time. Yeah. Dad, I'm famished. Uh, let okay. me check for something in the kitchen to eat. Get you some, something to eat. Oh, no, Dad. I'll just continue to read the word. Oh. Sorry for the way things turned out today. I seriously didn't mean to make you sad. Do you know what you did? I gave you myself and you turned me down. You know what? Good night. I'm not supposed to be talking to you. I don't even know why I picked your call. Honey, wait, wait, wait. Hey, hey. I, look, honey, I beg you, listen to me. Then say what you want to say and let me go back to my sorrow. No, no. Um, I want to ask you a question and I want an honest answer from you. Uh, what, what question is that? Will you marry me? What? What did you just say? I said, will you marry me like marry me, marry me, be the mother of my born children, be my wife? forever kind of thing yes <laughs> yes i'll marry you all right thank you all right so uh okay we're good uh tomorrow i'm gonna get a ring for you and i'll get you some flowers and uh all right i um love you and thank you um all right now you can go back to bed all right bye bye baby love you
morning, mommy. Oh, fine. How was your night? <laughs> fine, mommy. I hope you slept well. Yes, I did. <laughs> I hope you slept well too. I did, to the glory of God. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, mommy? What? Ah, come on, mom. I want you to I'm guess. I'm not good at guessing. Can you please tell me? Okay, fine. I will let the cut out please of the do. back. Please do. Please <sighs> do. I'm all yes. Adewale called me last night. Okay. And he proposed. <laughs> Just like that? Yes, mommy. So and soon. I said yes. This soon? Mm -hmm. I I thought he was fooling around with me. Oh, come on, Mom. Mm. Maybe something like that. No. Mom, he's very serious. He likes me and I like him too. You need to be very sure of this. Mom, I am sure of this. You're sure? Yes, mommy. You don't need to be scared of anything. <laughs> okay. We are just two lovebirds that really loves each other. I'm happy for you. Thank you, mommy. But you still have to be very sure of him. Okay, mom, I will. Nice. I'm happy. Congratulations. Thank you. Your daughter is getting married. Oh, yes. <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait to. First of all, we need to celebrate this. I'm going to get us glasses and a bottle of champ. I'm with you. Oh, mommy, you don't take alcohol. Uh -uh. I don't take alcohol either. <laughs> You? <laughs> okay, so what are we rate. celebrating with? Whatever. We have fresh juice on the fridge. Yeah, fresh juice. We have. Fine. I ordered something already, so it's on its way. I Come trust in. you. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> oh God. Dad? Yes? Mom? Mm -hmm. Meet Dolak Paul. Hmm. The love of my life. Good day, Ma. Good day, sir. How are you? Oh, you're beautiful. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I finally meet the lady. <laughs> Sit down. Just like you captured my home many years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Sit down, my dear. You're welcome. Thank you, Mom. How are your parents? Hmm. Son? You really have eyes for good things. Mm. You're welcome, my daughter. You're beautiful. She went to the market. Mm. Oh, come on, Dad. You're oh. welcome, my daughter. Thank you, Ma. Honey, uh, what would you like to drink? Um, anything is fine. It's fine. Good day, soft. Perfect. All right, uh, Dad. Would you stop with the gossip, please? <laughs> okay. Stop the gossip, please. You know, son, I am quite happy that things are going smoothly between Donald and yourself. <laughs> we should go and see her parents this week. Okay, Dad, all right. Okay. Good. But let me ask Are both of you compatible? Compatible? Yes, we're compatible. We are. That's that's not what I mean, son. I I mean, sexual compatibility. Oh, sexual compatibility. Uh, we'll find out after the wedding, Dad. No, no, son. No way. You have to find out before the marriage. In fact. Find out before we go and see her parents. Uh, Dad, come on, you're not you're not asking me to funny kid, I right? Why you drop it? Oh, you want me to drop what the Bible says? Okay, okay. That's not a 
that's that's not the way I, I meant it. Okay, let me explain it to you. Okay. You know that as a pastor, I cancel married people regularly, right? Mm -hmm. Now, experience over the years have shown me that the major issue that has bedeviled the marriage institution is sexual incompatibility. That is the major cause of infidelity and divorce. So, son, as a precautionary measure, I would advise that you sleep with your fiancé and know if you both are compatible or not. Okay, Dad, I've, I've heard you. Think about it. I see the look on your face. I know you do not want to do it before marriage. But what if both of you are not compatible? So as your father, I'm giving you the permission to sleep with her. Okay? Yes, hello, Dolabo. Yes, I have just convinced my son to go to bed with you. Yes, so come around tomorrow. Okay, bye, bye. Just do it now, rather than find out later that we are not sexually compatible. Look, I understand your point, uh, but the thing is, I made this vow to God that I'm not going to have sex with my partner until we get married, and I don't want to break it. Please, understand me. I'm not doing this. You're not doing what? Honey, come Please, on. just leave me. What? Just understand, honey. Honey, honey, honey. Just... Okay, let me drop you home. No, if you... Look, you. honey, let me just... Please, come on. Yes, sir. Yes, he just suddenly changed his mind and stopped. Sir, it's not about what I did wrong. He just doesn't want to do it. What is wrong with you, Adewale? What nonsense vow are you talking about? Dad, I said... I heard what you said! But that still shouldn't have stopped you from doing it. I don't think you realize exactly what you're talking about or what you're dealing with. This thing can mess up your life and even your marriage. Dad, come on. Dad, come on. I'm 30 years old. I've been a celibate my whole life. I don't want to throw it away now that I'm at the end of the line, Dad. Son? Dad, come on. I... Okay, I totally understand you. No! You don't understand what I'm saying. I'm saying forget about that celibacy. Forget about that stupid vow that you took and just do it. I don't want you to end up regretting the woman that you got married to. Dad. I'm sorry, but I'm not going to have sex 
until after my wedding. I don't want to talk about it again. Please, Dad, let's just stop talking about it, okay? I'm done. Please. I'm done. No, Dad. I... Are you walking out? Well, <clears throat> um, I understand what you said, Mr. Pastor. Oh, Pastor. I'm sorry, Pastor. But just that I am not comfortable with the way you people want everything to be rushed. There's nothing wrong with that. Really? Nothing wrong with that. Everything is okay. Everything is okay the way it is. I am fine with everything. The both of them love themselves and they can't wait to be with each other. That, that's the point, my dear. That's the point. I understand everything, Daddy. God bless you, sister. It's okay. Oh, you understand? It's okay. Congratulations, my brother. Congratulations, my son. Have faith, my brother. God is in control. Hello, Daddy. Okay. Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you're already at the church, sir. All right, sir, we'll soon be there, sir. One hour away. We'll soon be there, sir. Okay, sir. All right. Bye-bye, sir. <laughs> Honey, our dad is already in the church, and we're still here. Eh? What are they still doing inside, eh? Bayo! What's your sister still doing inside now? Go inside and tell her to come out. Eh? So hurry up. You shouldn't keep the groom waiting. You're already in the church. <laughs> wow, yeah. here comes my beautiful, my beautiful bride. <laughs> you look good. Baby, you look good. Thank you, mommy. Honey, you look beautiful. Thank you, Daddy. Hi. Sparkling gorgeous. Yes. Yes. Are you ready to go now? <laughs> yes. Oh, I have taken a lead. Let's go. Tarako! What's happened? Tarako! Tarako! Who is this? Tarako! What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Tarako! What's wrong with you? Tarako! Ah! Bayo! My name is Adi. Tarako! 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 How can you be saying things you are not sure of? Which is a similar? Eh? Is it true now? What else could have happened to her? If not that invisible arrow that would have been casted on her, eh? Daddy, to be honest with you, I prayed and fasted very well for this wedding to go in peace. It's okay. It's okay. The Lord is in control. Let, let us pray. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we thank you for the life of your daughter, Father. Amen. Father, you said they will gather. But if the garden is not of you, Father, it will scatter. Yes. Father, may no weapon formed or fashioned against her ever prosper. Amen. And any tongue that rises in judgment against her, you shall condemn, Father. Amen. I proclaim healing upon you. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 It is well with thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, she's fine. She's fine now. There's no need to panic. Praise the Lord. The test result is out. Okay. It's just exhaustion. Pregnancy exhaustion from the wedding planning. Uh, pregnancy. pregnancy? Pregnancy. Did you, did you say pregnancy? Yes. She's a few weeks gone. She's pregnant. Of course she's pregnant. Excuse me. Daddy, daddy, please forgive them. Daddy, please forgive them for they do not know what they've done. No. Ah, Tonako. Excuse me. Ah. Mommy. Daddy. The pregnancy is not mine. Huh? You've not really had sex with her? I'm 
not responsible for the pregnancy. Ah! Then I have you never, never slept ah! with your daughter before. Ah! You've not had sex with her? Ah! I've not had sex with her, so <sighs> I don't know what's going on. I don't understand what's going on. But it's not right. It's not. Ah! Ah! God is in control. Okay. She couldn't even say a thing to me that she couldn't talk to anybody about, about what happened. She couldn't even tell me who got her pregnant. I mean, she couldn't talk to me, at least talk to me, say, Say what happened, and just tell me, give me a story, you know, or say you're sorry that this happened, or... It's, 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 she, it's, it's okay, my son. She couldn't even say a thing to me, she couldn't... All I wanted was at least say you're sorry, you know, you, you're sorry for what happened, and even if you struggled to say something to me, but... Son, please, it's okay. Such is life. See, life, it's a big lesson to all of us. I okay. wish, I, I wish I can see that lady right now and tell her how treacherous she is. She's been pregnant for another man all this while and she didn't deem it fit to open up. She's such a bad person. Now, now, now look at what, she, what, what she's put my son through. <sighs> Oh God, 
I just... What did I do wrong? You know, I just I just wanted to say something to me, dude. Daddy, can you see how broken our son is? Dolakpo, who impregnated you? I said, who impregnated you? Don't make me lose it! Are you deaf? Oni, Oni, please calm down. Allow her be for now. Please. Let's allow things to settle down. Then you can ask her later. You know she's not feeling fine. Please, I beg you, in the name of God. Please. Be. Really? Please. Please. So you can't tell us who impregnated you? Please. Get out of my sight. Come on, get out of here! You see what I'm talking about? You are spoiling this girl. She can't even tell you her own mother who impregnated her. Is it the right thing? Are you doing the right thing as a mother? I told you to stop calling this your so-called pastor daddy. You didn't even hear my own. Now you are joining your hand to spoil this girl. I'm telling her now to go inside when everything is calm. Is it not now that they can be able to tell us who impregnated her? Have you spoken with your son today? No, anything. It's just that he has not eaten anything since yesterday. Didn't he eat his breakfast? But I just said he has not eaten anything since yesterday, which includes his breakfast. Um, oh, I see. Um, go and call him for me. Mentioned my name to anyone. She has simply removed that pregnancy as I advised her to. My son will not be in this emotional mess that he is right now. Daddy, your son is not in his room. What? He's not even anywhere around this house. Uh, where is he then? I don't know. I just hope that boy will not harm himself. Have you tried calling him? Yes! Wally. Good day, Mom. I, um, I want to see Dolapo. I want to speak with her. I'm sorry. I know I don't have an explanation right now. But someday you will understand. It's okay. Are 
hear you. I just wish you would have said this a long time ago. Good luck, Paul. I still love you. As long as you're not having a relationship with a person responsible for the pregnancy. I still want our relationship to continue. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. This is the end of the road for us. We can't go on with this anymore. What are you talking about? Telling me you were seeing somebody. Why? While well, you were planning to get married to me? No. I've not seen anyone. Neither was I having an affair while I was with you. Then what is the problem? If you're not with the man that is responsible for the pregnancy, then what is the problem? The problem. to be with you as as long as you're not having a relationship with the person as long as you're not together that means you don't want to be with him and if you don't want to be with him I want to be with you I can't let go of the fact that you didn't tell me about a pregnancy I still want to get married to you because I love you I'm sorry I'm sorry I cannot marry you I can't marry you anymore Who's that? Who's that? It's me, son. Please come downstairs for dinner. I'm not hungry, Mom. I'm hungry, Mom. But you've not had anything since morning. Mom, I just want to be left alone, okay? Son, why are you doing this to yourself? You've not eaten for two days now, and you're, you still think you're okay. You are not. Please, come and eat something, okay? I love Dulakbo. Mama, you don't get it. I love Dulakbo. I love her. I love her. I mean, I love her so much. No, Mama, you don't, you don't understand. I understand. I love her. I understand. Just come and eat something. We can talk about that later, please. Please. Hmm? Do you want to break down? Hmm? How can you survive without food? You need to be strong, please. And why have you refused to take my calls? Because I didn't want to talk to you over the phone. Hmm. Fair enough. I understand that you did not tell anyone that the pregnancy is mine. Thank you. That was very good of you. And I'd like it to remain that way. And The only reason I kept my mouth shut is because I want you to use your mouth to tell your son about the pregnancy. Are you out of your mind? You owe your son that confession. Oh, shut up! No, I won't. You will tell him the truth. I will tell him everything, but I want to give you that honor of doing that first. Excuse me. Dad, come back here. Dad, I said come back here.
but why you why they pass this road I said now? Oh, no, I no, 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 we no, 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 it's very short cut. It's a short cut. Like, why are you passing? Which one is a short cut now? It's a short cut. Somebody help! 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 I know she's pregnant, but I still love her, and I still want to marry her. Even with the pregnancy? Even with the pregnancy. As long as she's not uh, having a relationship with uh, the man who impregnated her, I'm, I'm okay. I still love your daughter and I still want to get married to her. Are your parents aware of this? Are you sure they'll be fine with this? It is my decision. They will be forced to support me, no matter my choice. Look, madam, I love her. I'm telling you the truth. And I really want to marry her. Please just talk to her for me. Please, let her know how much I love her. Okay, I'll talk to her for you when she comes back, okay? Thank you, madam. I'll try my best. I understand how you feel. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Right. Hello? Yeah, who am I speaking to? Dolakwa. Why are you calling me with a different number? Hospital? What? You were robbed? Be well with them. To never be well with them. But it will be okay. Yeah. Oh, to oh, never be well with them. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, imagine. Hey, mom. Mom. Ah, uh, yeah. Guess what? Dolakbo lost the pregnancy. What? I don't know if I should be happy or I should be sad. I just feel so conflicted right now. Did she abort the baby? No, mom. She didn't abort it in baby. She got attacked by robbers. She was in a commercial bus. She got attacked and they threw her out of the bus. Probably the impact when she fell, you know, caused her to lose the baby. That's too bad. Mom, I think that the Lock Boy and I, we have another chance to, you know, be together again, come back together. No way, son. You're not going to marry that girl. Why, Mom? You want to know why? Yeah. A girl that hid her pregnancy from you, even while you are engaged to her, is capable of killing you and you wouldn't even bleed. Mom, you're not in her shoes. That's being too harsh. Better grow up. Grow up and stop reasoning like a toddler. What's going on, mother and son? Daddy, it is your son with his infantile reasoning. Dad, Dulakpo lost the pregnancy and I was telling mom about it. Jesus. Dabo lost the pregnancy? How? She was attacked by robbers 
and in the process she lost her pregnancy. Mm. And I was telling mom that I still intend to get married to her. Uh, son, I think we should keep those married plans aside for now. And let's allow Lord the Lord take control. Daddy, stop patronizing this young man. Tell him plainly that he's not going to marry such a deceitful character. Not under my watch, never. Let God take control of the situation. I've said mine. So, um, I want us to go to the phone store. I want to get you a new phone. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. But I already got a new one. Really? Yeah, my father got me a new phone yesterday. So, oh. I went to retrieve my line. That's nice. Really nice to know. So, what I'm going to do is uh, I will uh, send the money to your account. You can do whatever you want to do with it. Ah. Oh. Thank you. That's so kind of you. You're welcome. Do luck, Bob. Did your mother discuss anything with you? Um, yeah, she did. Okay. But I told her I would like to see you first. Because oh. there's something I would really like to tell you. All right. Um, I'm listening. I owe you the truth. Even though I know this particular truth will mess with your mind. Okay. I just have to tell you. All right. Um, listen, I want to hear it. Your father was responsible for that pregnancy. What's that your salary at the pharmacy again? I want to fulfill that promise. Look at this. It's an oil company. The salary, the basic salary is 1.5 million a month. The MD is my friend. I already spoke to him about you. And he gave me his word that he will give you the job. <gasps> Thank you so much, Daddy. It's, Thank it's you. Fine. Thank it's you fine. so much, sir. It's fine. Jesus Christ. Okay, so you just give me your bring your credentials tomorrow. Yes. 
And uh, by next week, you can resume at the company. Thank you so much, Daddy. You're Thank welcome. you. You're I'll bring it. I'll bring it. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Uh, Jesus. Uh, but, but, Donna, well, sir. there's um, a little something you might have to do for me. Okay, sir. What is it? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Don't you want the girl? <laughs> Relax. <laughs> this is between you and I, okay? You don't should hear about this. I'm not asking you for a share of the 1.5 million. Neither am I saying give me the whole thing. This is just what I want from you. Daddy, but this is a scene. Uh, no, relax. Leave it to me. Okay? Leave it to me. I could have given some other person this opportunity, but I chose you for a reason. Don't throw it away. Let's just do this thing. And by next week, you'll be ending in seven digits. That was how I let him have his way that day. Because I really needed a job. Are you serious? Are you sure about what you're saying? Yes, I am. After two weeks, I went back to him and he said his friend at the oil company asked me to wait until there's availability of vacancies. I had no choice but to wait. And then the pregnancy showed up. Does he know that you will carry his child? Yes. As a matter of fact, he was the one who asked me to make you sleep with me so I can pin the pregnancy on you. Dolakpo. Jesus Christ! What did you just say? Adewale, what are you talking about? Dolakpo just confessed to me, Mom. She told me Dad was the one who got her pregnant and Dad asked her to pin the pregnancy on me. The devil is a liar. Is that what they told her? To say? To spoil my name? Dad, tell me you never slept with Dolakpo. God forbid I do that! God is my witness. I have never cheated on your mom since I married her. Son, did you ask her? No, ask her. Why did she say all these things while she was still carrying the pregnancy? Why now? I was about asking the same thing. Why now? Listen, son, all I did was to tell Dola what that you're not going to marry her again. And she got angry and walked out on me. Oh. Hmm. Perhaps that is the reason she cooked up this rubbish and spilled. Certainly, my dear, my dear, certainly. Perhaps she told her parents. And they told her to cook up a story and just say something against me to dent my image. Hmm. That girl is evil. She definitely is. And my God will deal with her. I promise you by the God that I serve. I'm going to sue her for slander and criminal defamation. What is this? This will teach her and elder people like her a big lesson not to dent images of people like me, especially men of God. Yes, yes, Daddy. I, I, I'm your support. 
What kind of rubbish is this? Can you see how the people, the, the devil, are attacking your children? The devil is at war with your children, Father. Father, take control. Will you set me against my father? My father denied every single thing. He said he's coming against you with a lawsuit. She ended a call in my ear. Dolakwa. Are you sure of what you're saying? Are you sure of what you're saying? Yes, Mom. I know you will not believe me. <laughs> but everything I have said here is the truth. The same man that pregnated you and asked you to abort it, which you refused, now asks you to sleep to, with his own son and put the pregnancy on him. Yes, Daddy. Are you sure? Well, it's hard to believe anyway, but I believe you, my daughter. No, I disagree to that. I disagree to that because my pastor cannot do that. My daddy can never do that. He can never. It's not possible. Excuse me, woman. Who is your daddy? Pastor Bankole. Do you know after God, Pastor Bankole is next? He can never do this. I so much have faith and believe in him. He can never. can smear my reputation and not face consequences? Oh, I will sue you for defamation. And you're going to end up in jail. I didn't defame you. Everything I told your son is the truth. Shut up! Shut up! I promise you, you'll regret lying against an anointed man of God. Are you trying to say you did not sleep with me and got me pregnant? Liar! Liar! Lie from the pit of hell. And my God will put you to shame. No problem. Just pick a date and a hospital so we can go and do the DNA test. And then we'll know who the father of my child is. What, what, what are you talking about? D DNA test? I thought you loved the pregnancy. Did I ever say that to you? Or are you praying for me to lose it? Don't know, but my son told me you lost the pregnancy. That's simply him assuming because he heard I bled. I didn't lose my pregnancy. It's intact. I hear you. Okay, Dora, well, listen. Okay, if anyone hears that I'm responsible for that pregnancy, it's going to destroy me and everything that I've worked hard to build over the years. You should understand that the church, my family. Please, please. I'm going to give you five million naira so you can take back everything you told my son. Call him, please. Please call him and tell him that everything you told him is a lie. In fact, I'll make it 10 million now if you... Hey! I'm dead. You're a daddy. Pastor Bangkole actually did this. That's your daddy. Hey! You're a daddy. Ha! I'm finished. Ha! Keep this in Hmm. Oh, 
this man is here, you're a very wicked man. Will you shut and up? And I hate you. Shut up, Adewa. He's a monster. You talk to your father? He I is a monster. This man is a monster. This man is wicked. What? You're a monster. You. Are you out of your mind? Mom, listen to this. Listen to this. Listen, take the phone. Listen to it. Is no man of God. He's evil. Ah. He is a monster. He got Dorakbok pregnant ah, and he told her to pin the pregnancy on me. Shame on you. I thought I knew you. I'm ashamed to call you my father. Shame on you. Hey. You are wicked. Shame on you. So I've been married to a monster for over 30 years. I thought I knew this man. And he made me say those nasty things about that innocent girl. Wake me up. I don't want to wake me up. Wake me up. Tell me I'm dreaming. I thought I knew your father. It's okay, mom. It's not your fault, mom. It's okay. He made me say nasty things about that innocent girl. It's okay, mom. It's his fault. It's not your fault. So. Yes, hello, Pastor Ralph. How are you? Good. Okay, Pastor Ralph, I'm... I'm handing over the church to you. You will be in charge for now. I'll be going on a one-year suspension from the pulpit for something that I did, which I will confess to the church during service on Sunday. Good night. Mr. and Mrs. Owolavi, I want to thank you for allowing me into your home today. I know. I know I have sinned against man and God who graciously called me to serve in his vineyard. Tolapo, I have wronged you greatly. What is my lack of control for the things of the flesh that made me do what I did? I am truly ashamed of my actions and I regret everything. I've come to ask for your forgiveness. After which I will also ask the church for their forgiveness and do my penance. Please, find it in your hearts to forgive me. I just wanted to say that I am very sorry for everything. Please, find a place in your heart to forgive me. 
Dilapa. I have nothing against you. I have no grudge against you. I understand that you did what you did because my father forced you into it. We are both victims of his irresponsibility. So, uh, truthfully, my heart is clear and with no grudge at all towards you. The only reason I stopped calling you is because I thought that it's going to be wrong for us to get married. And we needed some time, space, to um, create some distance. But I'm okay now and I think uh, if you want, we can still be friends. Sure. That's what I want. You're a great guy and I wouldn't want to lose your friendship. Would you want to lose your friendship too? So, um... So nice to have you as my friend again, Dolak Paul. Anytime, give me a call. Sure. Whatever it is, whatever way I can help, I'll be there for you. Thank you. Uh, I have to go back inside. I have uh, some guests waiting for me. Okay. Make sure you take care of yourself. I will. Enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, you too. Hi. I'll be on my way now. It's no man of God. He's evil. Ah. He is a master. He got Dorakbo pregnant ah, and he told her to pin the pregnancy on me. Shame on you. I thought I knew you. I'm ashamed to call you my father. Shame on you. Hey. You are wicked. Shame on you. So I've been married to a monster for over 30 years. I thought I knew this man. And he made me say those nasty things about that innocent girl. Okay, wake me up. No, okay, I want to wake me up. Wake me up. Tell me I'm dreaming. Mom. I thought I knew your father. It's okay, mom. Ah. It's not your fault, mom. It's okay. It's he okay. made me say nasty things about that girl.